Hi everyone, it's back with Michael here and today we are reviewing a laptop that fits well for my activity as a creator since it's excellent in both performance and portability. This laptop is the newest iteration of the Asus ZenBook Pro. First of all, the appearance of the ZenBook Pro is really familiar next to the rest of the ZenBook family. The entire casing is made of CNC aluminum unibody, making it really tough and solid. It retains this ASUS signature circular polishing on the top cover, and the ASUS logo itself has backlighting. But in my opinion, they should change the ASUS logo with the ZenBook logo next time. Just like when the ASUS logos and the ROG series was replaced with just the ROG logo, making a more exclusive and different appearance. At 1.8 kilograms and less than 2 centimeters thick, the ZenBook Pro is besides the most powerful, also the chubbiest among the ZenBook family. But there is only a small bezel around this full HD 15-inch display, making the footprint more comparable to a portable 14-inch laptop and even fits to a more compact backpack. Speaking about the display, the accuracy and brightness is quite perfect for Netflix, gaming, and of course doing more productive things such as video editing. Also, this touchscreen is stylus enabled, making this device even more compelling toward content creators. Its port collection consists of a 3.5mm jack, micro SD slot, and two USB 3.1 ports to the right, while to the left, there are charging port, HDMI, and not just one, but two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which is basically very generous from ASUS. The primary selling point here are the pretty powerful internals relative to its size, starting from a quad-core Core i7 CPU usually only to be found on gaming laptops, and either a GeForce GTX 1050 or a 1050 Ti graphics card without any cuts in performance. With 16GB of RAM, this laptop is performance-wise identical next to many entry-level gaming laptops sporting the same specifications. Even running most AAA titles at high settings, should not be a problem here. With a M.2 NVMe SSD, storage is already lighting fast out of the box, so you probably only want to expand on the capacity aspect in the future. The only compromise here is heat management. Despite the dual blower fan and dual heat pipe system, the system can reach up to 80 degrees at maximum load, making it quite uncomfortable to play games on your lap since the base can go hot caused by limited ventilation. But as long as you game on a table, this is not a problem at all. Good ratings also goes to both the touchpad and keyboard. The touchpad is comfortable and responsive, and at the upper right corner lies a fingerprint scanner that lets you log in through Windows Hello. Despite not as soft as ZenBook UX410, the feel and travel on the keyboard is good, in addition to the three-stage backlighting. We have tested the battery to last about 8-9 to nine hours by web browsing, far above the endurance of a typical mainstream gaming laptop. There's also a battery health charging feature that gives us the option to charge at 60 or 80% capacity, extending the battery's overall lifespan. Then, with a HK certified quad speaker, the audio quality here is really good for some Netflix and chill and enjoying some music. For the least, we came up with the conclusion that the ZenBook Pro is quite successful at combining the performance of a mainstream gaming laptop with a high-end ultra-portable notebook. The complete set of features and performance make a ZenBook Pro an excellent companion for work and play. Honestly, there's not a lot we can complain about. For most people, the only thing keeping them from buying this laptop is of course its steep price tag. But as long as you have the money and a need for a gaming laptop performance in an ultrabook-like package to go with you, the ZenBook Pro may prove to be a wise investment. Well, that's pretty much it for our opinion on the Asus ZenBook Pro for now. If you have your own opinions, please don't hesitate to leave comments down below. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and as always, have a nice day.